Washington is set to be the first state in the country with an all electric ferry system. The first hybrid will be on the water next year, but the whole fleet won't get turned over until likely 2040 or later. Those who rely on the ferries right now say that's too long. We are leading America in this revolution. Despite wearing a mask because of a recent COVID exposure, Governor Jay Inslee still has a hard time hiding his excitement about the conversion to electric ferries. A year ago, he rode on one in Norway and says ferry riders are going to like them. Cleaner air, we get uh, uh, quieter boats. We use homegrown electricity instead of sending billions of dollars to the oil and gas companies in Texas. But it's going to take a while. The first of the diesel boats being converted to hybrids should be sailing next year. But the first all-electric ferry won't start running until 2027 between Seattle and Bainbridge Island. The clinton Muckleteo run starts in 2029, and the Point defiance Talico trip starts in 2032. The governor learned Wednesday the majority of the routes will be electric by the end of the 2030s, with the goal to be 100% electric by 2050. Planning ahead for sustainability uh, is good policy, and it's good business, but we have a crisis going on right now. The Vashon Island Chamber of Commerce hosted a town hall last week to air folks' ferry frustrations. Three boat, two boat, one boat, none. What's it going to be? Staffing shortage delays, cancellations, and boat breakdowns have those reliant on ferries looking to Olympia for help immediately. One idea, boost funding for counties and cities to start their own foot ferries like Kitsap County. There are hundreds of thousands of Washington residents, business owners, families, retirees, students who are all affected by these disruptions. Well, first off, I'm a ferry rider, so I understand that frustration when you miss a boat. Governor Inslee says the ferries are becoming more reliant thanks to a boost in hiring and retention. He says more relief is on the way. If the legislature had given me billions of dollars on day one, we would have had them faster, okay? But they didn't. But we're building them as fast and as efficiently as possible right now. The governor says the state has had to be creative when it comes to finding new ways to retain ferry employees, but he says those measures are making changes, and he says he's open to more changes when legislators return here next January. In Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.